the inner dialogue that has to happen in order for me to get out on my bike when it is zero degrees, feels like minus two. But here we are, out enjoying a brisk noodle. It's tough when the lure of the heated basement draws you to question whether or not you want to be outside. Ah, but it's not that bad. But it's not just the temperatures, it's also digging out the winter gear, putting a lot of stuff on. And sometimes, as you know, you tend to sweat more getting the winter booties on, the winter tights, than you actually do on the ride. Hope you had a great week. And more importantly, I hope you remembered to put your clocks back if that's a thing where you are. It's certainly a thing where I am. Extra hour sleep, I'll take it. One of the other problems I find with Zwift is I totally buy into that Zwift effect where the intention is to take it easy to do a zone one, zone two workout but oh no <laughs> I did a workout on Friday uh, I think it's one of the new routes on Witopia called the sugar cookie I spent 40 minutes of the hour and 50 minutes it took me to do it in threshold well that wasn't the intention but I can't help myself so the goal today is really zone two, heart rate zone two. I don't have a power meter on my bike. Resigned to the fact that the Mariposa, the butterfly, will not be seeing the light of day for a little bit. Nor will it be on the trainer. I would not subject that steel beauty to the ugliness of me on a trainer. So I'm on this. You've seen it before. It's a Felt F3X. It's a cyclocross bike. Now it's become, since I don't do cyclocross, now it's become my foul weather ride. Things you see on a ride. I've mentioned before that this is the Rideau Canal and that they drain it this time of the year. Um, eventually they're gonna bring some water in and it becomes the longest skateway in the world. But right now, it's pretty dry. And then in the spring, um, after, the, uh, after the melt, after the thaw, um, they bring the water level back up. There's a boat here. Uh, I guess it's parked for the winter, dry docked. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about, um, the things you see on a ride. So uh, back that way, there was a carcass, uh, looked relatively fresh of a uh, Canada goose. Um, probably just passed away due to old age. I don't know why <laughs> the geese are still here, but they are in abundance. Hey guys, time to head south. But uh, yeah, the surprise wasn't seeing the carcass of a Canada goose, you see that all the time. Uh, the surprise was seeing a seagull having a merry feast on that carcass. I guess seagulls will basically eat anything, even their, uh, their brethren. Yeah, hopefully I don't see that again on the way back. Not too sure if I should be frightened. <laughs> if I'm gonna get dive bombed with poop, geese poop, or if they're uh, they're in for the kill. I guess I got the message. They were heading south, and uh, now they're heading back north. Dummies. Wow, that wasn't so bad. Zero, minus two degrees. As long as you dress for it, and really, there's no wind today. So uh, yeah, I'll take this every day. It's so great just to get out. I think Linda's banging away the miles in the basement. Um, 
she's not really into this type of weather and to be quite honest she doesn't have um, all the the best winter gear um, maybe we'll get into that next week the type of winter gear that uh, I tend to pull out of the closet at this time of the year anyways that's a wrap hey guys my life on two wheels please click the like comment and or subscribe button and uh, I'll see you in a few have a great week take care